Hey guys, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and in this tutorial, we're going to be teaching you how to create custom death messages with the plugin Death Messages Prime. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing you need to do is go to your control panel and make sure that you are running Spigot. If you're running Craft Pocket, this plugin may not work fully as it requires some of the things within Spigot to work correctly. So, once you're on Spigot, you can continue with the tutorial. So, to install the plugin, you just need to go to the plugins tab. Then go to Spigot Plugins and then search for Death Messages Prime. Then click search and then it should come up as the top one now with a similar logo to this and then click install latest. Then once it's installed, restart the server. So once you've given the server a few moments to start up, we can go ahead and join it just to check that the plugin has loaded correctly. So go ahead and join your server. So as you can see, I've just joined my Minecraft server and it's a good idea just to test that the plugin is functioning by default. So I'm just going to kill myself here with some TNT. So I'm just going to drop down here and then just blow myself up. And then as you can see, the death message was slightly different to what it would be by default. It's got the D in brackets and then it's got Racer K12 blew up. So let's go ahead and start configuring these messages now that we know they're loading correctly. If you didn't see a custom message like this, contact our support as it means the plugin hasn't loaded properly. So there is likely an issue which needs to be looked at before you start trying to configure it. However, if it's working, continue watching. So if you go back to the control panel for your Minecraft server, then go to the file manager then go to the plugins folder and then if you open the death messages prime folder and then in here there's a config.yml file so go ahead and open that. So this is where we're able to configure the entire plugin. So we are going to be going over this configuration, we're not going to be going over all the settings as some of them are a bit complicated and they will take up too much time during this tutorial but we will be going over the basic ones. So the first part of this configuration refers to world settings. So with this plugin, you're able to configure how death messages work in different worlds. So the first area here is called world groups. So as it's mentioned above in the comments, which are very helpful, it says if a world is in a group and a death occurs there, the appropriate death message will be shown in the rest of the worlds that are in the same group. So basically you can have different groups and then if a world is in a different group to another, the death messages won't be displayed on both of those worlds. So by default it's disabled and the world is just set to the default ones on a Minecraft server which is world. So if you had maybe a set of PvP worlds you could create a new group and call it PvP and then you could add the world names below that. So if we just go ahead and add that here and make sure it all lines up correctly if you're going to do this yourself. And then let's say the world was called Kit PvP, and then we had another one, let's say it was called Factions. And then we wanted the death messages in Kit PvP and Factions to be the same, but we didn't want those death messages to be displayed in World. That would work there, and then we'd need to set this to Enable. That is how you would set that up, and you can have as many groups as you want, so you could have every world in a different group if you wanted to, so that none of them share the same death messages. It's completely up to you. I don't have any extra worlds on this server though, so I'm just going to leave it as default as Disabled. So the next settings that we're going to take a look at are these here. So here you're able to change how death messages work in separate worlds. The first one, you're able to disable PvP death messages in certain worlds. So maybe if you had a PvP world and there was loads of deaths going on all the time and you didn't want the chat to be spammed with death messages, you could set this up by deleting the hashtag and then put the world name here. So if it was PvP, you could do that there. And you could also add a second world if you wanted to and then third, fourth and fifth and um, just lay it out in the same way. And then again, you can do the same here for natural death messages so you could disable that for whatever reason you wanted to in a separate world then here we've got a setting which allows death messages to only be displayed to the killer and the victim so say if a player called bob kills a player called fred only bob and fred will see the death message a person called elliot won't see the death message so you can configure that for each world here too and then here you're able to change whether natural death messages are displayed to only the player himself so if a player dies, he will only see the death message in this world if you have this enabled. So the next area here is world death message radius. So here you're able to define a radius where people have to be within to see death messages. So if you're with next to a player called Fred, who's within a 10 block radius, you can set it so that you will only see his death message. Whereas if there was a person called Greg, who is maybe 50 blocks away, you wouldn't be able to see his. So here you can just add the world name and then you put colon space and then the number so that's the radius that it would be so they would have to be within 10 blocks or you could change it to 20 you could change it to a thousand it's completely up to you and then you can add separate worlds there as well to enable them in them so if you wanted to enable in every world you would need to list every world name there just by going that below it again and then typing the world name 
So this area here, you're able to define whether death messages are displayed if a player keeps consistently dying. So if a player respawns dead quickly and then they're killed instantly again, it can create some spam in the chat. So you can configure these settings to change whether they're displayed or not. So this is nicely commented, so feel free to edit it however you like um, and change the cooldowns for death messages and configure it to your liking. So the next setting that we're going to take a look at is this one here, the death message conflicts broadcast. So if you've got another message that also edits it's a death message, maybe a mini game, you can configure whether death messages prime displays their death message instead of the custom plugins. So if you wanted it to do that, you would set it to true, otherwise you can leave it as false and any other plugin that tries to edit a death message, it will display that death message instead of the one that you've set here. So just further down here, we're going to take a look at this setting, the console death message. So here you're able to change how death messages are displayed in the console. So if you for some reason wanted to know where players died and the coordinates to their location, you could change that there. So if you wanted it to display that, you could change it to verbose instead of normal. So you'd put verbose there and then it would display the player's name that died and then the coordinates and then additional information too. And then if you just didn't want death messages to display in the console at all, you could just put none. So these are very handy settings if you've got a busy server where you don't want death messages to be displayed, or if you're just running a small survival server and you want to know where you died just in case you don't want to lose your items. So further down the configuration, this is the area here where you can change the actual death messages and the prefixes that are displayed with them. So this is the most interesting part and is probably the part that you will edit yourself. So here you're able to change the prefix. So if you remember in game, it displayed D and it was in some different colors. So you could change this if you wanted to, to be um, maybe your server name, so server pro um, death messages, you could put that, you could put whatever you want, you could even just delete the prefix if you wanted to, so you could do that just by selecting all of this text and leaving the two quotes there. However, I'm just going to leave it as this, just for the demonstration purposes, and you can also use colour codes, so if you wanted the colour codes to be different, you could do that as well. So here you're also able to add a suffix, I don't usually use suffixes in Minecraft servers, however you can set one up as well, it's just the opposite to a prefix, so it starts at the end of a message rather than at the start of it. So then here you can also change the prefix for just PvP messages, so maybe if you had a different world called Kit PvP, you could put Server Pro Kit PvP Death Message. And then you could put that there. And then again, remember to move the hashtags if you want a setting to be enabled. So then below this is just the death messages for each different mob. So you can edit these to your liking. Again, you can use color codes if you wanted to. So if I wanted to change was slain by bat to be in a light red, I would put and C and then that would change it like so. However, I'm not going to be doing that. So I'm just going to leave it as default. And then here where it says percent PLR tag percent, that means the player's username. So that means it will display maybe racer k12 was slain by a bat so here are all the death messages for mobs and feel free to adjust these to whatever you want and if we keep going down you'll see all the other ones too here just below this is when there's a named mob so if a mob has a name it will display these messages instead of the ones above then if we keep scrolling down you can see here there's got different death messages for pvp so for different scenarios such as melee an arrow snowball projectile a potion you can change these all to your liking as well then below we've got natural causes, so for example, like I did earlier where I blew up, I could change that one here. So I'm actually going to change this one just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to change the colour of PLR tag, so I'm going to set that to a light red. And then we're also going to change after that to, I believe it's a light blue, and we're going to change it to, um, let's put, was blown up with TNT. And then make sure you put the quote at the end as well. There has to be quotes at the start and at the end of each message. So again, you can go ahead and edit all these if you want to. And there is loads to edit. So that's pretty much all we're going to be looking at in this configuration file today. There is some more to it. However, it does get a bit complicated. So we're not going to be going through that today. So once you've made all the changes that you want to, click save and then restart your server. Then once you've given your server a few moments to start up, go ahead and join it. So as you can see, I've just joined my Minecraft server and if I go to my little area that I've set up here, and if I grab some TNT and I just blow myself up just to demonstrate the new message, you'll be able to see that it is displayed. So if we just go down here, and if we click respawn, and then you can see the message has changed. So we've got the new prefix and it says server pro death messages and it says my username and it's got it in the color red. And then it says was blown up with TNT in the light color blue. So that's gonna adjust for all the death messages. It is a good idea to go through 
once you've changed them all and test each one of them so by dying to each different death message basically and if you've got different worlds it's a good idea to go through them and see if it's set up the way you wanted it to. So that's all for today with the custom death messages plugin. It's a fantastic little plugin that introduces a nice little feature. If you run into any problems today feel free to contact our support they'll be more than happy to help you and they should get back to you within just a few hours. So other than that I hope you've managed to set this up correctly and I hope that it's been helpful. So thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Goodbye.